Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve, uh, we are going to discuss these two problems. And we will, we will be going to solve uh, this problem uh, since both the problems have the same method to solve it. So I will try to solve this problem and we'll leave this particular problem for you guys to solve and give me the answer in the comments. Now the problem says that three cables are used to support container is shown. Determine the angle formed by cables AB and AD. So this container is supported by these three cables AB, AC and AD. And this particular problem says that we are required to determine the angle between AB and AD. So we have to find the angle between this cable and this cable. So we are going to find this angle theta. So for that, as I have discussed in the previous video, that we have to uh, define a position vectors, or we have to find a vector from A to B. So let's say that we have a position vector from A to B. So let's say this is R A B. And similarly, we have a position vector from A to D. And we have to find this angle between both of these cables. Let's say this angle is theta. So for since we know that the dot product will give us the answer, so we can say that the dot product of these two position vector R A B dot product with R A D will be equal to R A B magnitude multiplied by R A D magnitude and cause of the included angle between both of them so both of them is the angle theta so we want to find this angle theta so we can rearrange this equation and we can say that cause of theta will be equal to r the dot product of r um, r a b and r a d divided by their corresponding magnitudes so r a b magnitude and r a d magnitude and similarly if we take cause inverse then we will be able to find the angle theta so we can say that theta is equal to cos inverse of this fraction. So this is our main equation. Let's say this is equation one. So now the, the task is to find this position vector in terms of i, j, and k, and to find this in terms of i, j, and k, and then we have to find the magnitudes of them. So we can say that um, r, a, b vector, so we can always this position vector if we start traveling from a in the x y and z and we'll try to reach that point b as i have discussed in in almost each and every video that we can find the position vector by just moving along the x y and z from a and we'll try to reach that point b so that will give us the position vector from a to b so from a we need to travel this distance in the positive y this is positive y so this distance is 600 mm so we need to travel 600 mm in the positive y so we will reach the origin. So in the positive y means that we have to travel 600 mm in the positive j. So we will write 600 mm in the positive j. So we have reached the origin and from origin then we need to travel uh, this much distance that is 450 mm distance in the positive x. So in the positive x means that we have to travel 450 mm in the positive i. And since we have reached that point B without traveling in the Z direction, so this means that the K component of this position vector is zero. So we can say that this is uh, zero K. So this is RAB and we can find the magnitude of this RAB. So RAB magnitude, we can say that this magnitude will be equal to 450 square plus 600 square plus zero square under the square root. So this will give us the magnitude square root of 450 square plus 600 square plus 0 square this gives us 750 so this magnitude is equal to 750 mm remember that the units are mm and the units of this is in mm as well this is also in mm similarly we can say we can find r a d Remember that this is in mm as well. So R A D will be equal to again. We will start moving from A and we'll try to reach that point D in the x, y, and z. So from A we need to travel again uh, 600 mm in the positive y that is in the positive j. 
so you will write plus 600j so we will reach the origin then from the origin we will travel 500 mm in the negative x since this is the positive x so we will travel 500 mm in the negative x so that is in the negative x means 500 mm in the negative i so we will reach somewhere here and then from here we need to travel 360 mm in the positive z that is in the positive k so we will write plus 360k so this is the position vector from a to d again the units are in mm and we can find its magnitude we can say that the magnitude will be r a d magnitude will be equal to 500 square plus 600 square plus 360 square under the square root so this will give us the magnitude so this is 500 square plus 600 square plus 360 square this gives us 860 mm now putting everything in equation one will give us the angle theta so theta is equal to cos inverse so r a b vector r a b vector is 450 i plus 600 j plus 0 k dot product with r a d so which is minus 500 i plus 600 j plus 360 k divided by the corresponding magnitude so the magnitude of r a b is 750 mm and the magnitude of r a d is 860 mm so we will write that theta is equal to cos inverse now the dot product is always we always multiply the only the i component with the i j with j and k with k so i dot i is one so you can write that 450 into minus 500 i dot i is one similarly for j we will write plus 600 into 600 j dot j is one and similarly plus 0 k into 360 k so k dot k is one as well and this is 750 into 860 cos inverse 450 into minus 500 plus 600 into 600 and plus 0 0 into 360 is 0 divided by 750 into 860 so this gives us the angle between these two y's equal to we can say that the angle theta is equal to 77.92 degrees.